Life is determined by what we do with time. Life is lived out in time. Life is qualified by time. What have you become is totally dependent on how you use time. Life is also stopped by time. When you die, time stops. When you die, you move out of time into what they call eternity. In essence, death is life leaving time. Time is temporary. We were put in time to live a portion of life. Time is an interruption to eternity. Time is, is a slice of forever. Time is the limited period during which an action or a process exists or takes place. In other words, time is a measure of space. Time itself has its own power. Time was given to us to take us out of eternity. Time was given us to protect us from forever. If you had a pain in your back in eternity, it would be an eternal pain. Time has a beginning and end. Time is also given to us to measure existence of life, to define life, to measure the quality of life. Time is given to us to account for our lives, to define the distance between our beginning and our end. Time is given to us to live life in doses. Time is given to us to measure the purpose of our lives. Why we live. Time separates your past from your present and your future. Time measures life in seasons, winter, summer, autumn, and spring. Because time protects us from living in a permanent condition. You won't be a divorcee. Time will kill you. You won't hurt with grief all your life and the death of your family. Time will deal with you. Hey boys, the time changes everything. Nothing is permanent in time. Time is the only commodity on earth given equally to every human being. Time is therefore the only commodity every human possesses. We don't possess the same amount of money. We possess the same amount of time. So the key to life is what you become in life is determined how you use the time you have. And that's why we use terms like spending time. Time is a currency. Every human has the same amount every day. And time, like currency, must be spent. And here's the problem. Time is used to buy life. So whatever you are, you spend your time buying it. Even if you're broke, you use your time to become broke. If you're fat, oh dear, you use your time eating the wrong thing. You use your time not jogging. You see, time determines 
everything. If your marriage is under stress, it's because you haven't used your time in your marriage properly. Time is so powerful that whatever you invest your time in, you become. Time can also be lost. You can lose it, just like money. Time can be squandered just like money. You can spend an entire day. Have you ever said this? I don't know where the day gone. Why? You squandered it. It didn't take you closer to your goals, didn't take you closer to your vision, didn't accomplish the things you wanted, and you spent it and squandered it on stuff that didn't come. Time is more important than money. That's why the business man say time is money. Time can be depreciated just like money. Time can also be devalued. Every hour is important. My question is, what are you spending it on? You can reduce the value of your life by the things you spend your time with. Who you spend your time with, where you spend your time all day, you can devalue your time. You can revalue your time by just adjusting your relationships. Can I suggest this? The time can also be revalued. You can actually increase the value of your time by choosing what you do with it. You can never stop time. You can also never control it. You can't resist it. You can't compromise. You never compromise with time. Time doesn't adjust for you or nothing. You can't, you can't touch it. Uh, you can never buy time. You can't buy it. You can never slow time down. You can never speed up time. Until then, you are stuck in time. You are victims. And therefore, all you have to do to make time your friend is to manage it. Review your investments. What are you investing your time in? People spend hours watching television. Hours watching anime. Consuming your time. Do an inventory. Do not try to please everyone. If you want to redeem your time, stop trying to make everybody happy. You cannot make everybody happy. Half of the folks who are smiling at you don't like you. Get over it. You have to redeem your time by reviewing who you're trying to please. Stop trying to get everybody's approval. You will not like what you do. They don't even want to do what you do. You have to be very careful how you redeem that moment. Forget the past and pursue and design the future. Design it. Become an architect of life. You have been wasting enough time. It's over. Do something. Get back on track. Control your future by making a plan. Forget about what you didn't accomplish. Don't be your own depression. It's okay to look at the past.